sorry, what was I saying? Yes, um, 17 stone, two pounds. It could be a lot worse. It could be better because obviously the downside is I was, uh, what's that? Or eight pounds, no. What was I? Yeah, yeah. God, I was nine pounds lighter but off the math. That's what you think about. That's that's ridiculous. That's, I, I thought it was less than that. My math is terrible. Um, but um, yeah, nine pounds. I've got a shift to get back down to previous marathon weight. Eww, that's quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I was sixteen stone seven when I finished the marathons. Um, part of that, I don't know how much of that was actual uh, weight loss from actually performing two marathons in a week. I think it also that contributes to it. But a big factor is why I was very ill. Um, before I did the first marathon in Brighton, uh, I had um, really bad flu, and I ran the first marathon with the flu, which probably wasn't the best idea, but obviously I was raising money for charity, I didn't want them to suffer, so um, I put my body on the line a little bit, and that's why I was kind of disappointed, I think the support I got, I did get a lot of support with regards to the marathon, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for every single sponsor that I got, but I don't know, I thought maybe it might be a bit more, I don't know, a bit more... I sound like I'm really arrogant, actually, like I, I'm not grateful or, or appreciative for, for anything if anyone's done for me regarding the charity, but I don't know, I just thought it would be a bit more consumed better by people, I don't know, it's, you know, I think it's been a very matter of fact, like a sort of any other charity event sort of thing, and again, actually, I do sound like really arrogant now, but uh, in my eyes, you know, I put my body in the line two marathons in the week, you know, it's very bloody hard work, so... Um, and, you know, I could apply myself better in a sense of sponsorship stuff, because, but again, because my main focus was finding a job, it didn't go that way, and I, and, I, and I will make that up at some point in the future. I will do an event, and I will do all the, spot, um, all the fundraising and, 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 and get a lot more money for the charity. Um, just briefly on that, I'm still a few grand short of the charity money. Uh, not a few grand? No, I'm not. That'd be ridiculous. I'm a couple of hundred pounds short of the charity money. Um which will tie with my six month goals because I'm going to be trying to do another another event when I come back from Thailand in October, which I'll, I'll, I'll go into it maybe in a, later in this video or, or, or in the six month video that I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so I need to to get back on track with that as well. Um, but life is pretty good. As I said, I've done the marathons, very pleased with how they went. Um, got my job now, obviously, so I'm working hard in my job. The weight loss could be better. Um, weight loss hasn't really been, it's been weight gain. So um, that needs to improve, but that's all part of what's happening in the next six months. I haven't given up on my weight loss or, or my fitness or anything like that. Uh, I have kind of probably taken the last couple of months months off. That's what I, how I look at it. But that's been replaced by work. Um, so it's not been like I've been sitting around at home, unemployed, doing nothing and not exercising because that wouldn't have been, that, like I said, there's no excuses. And, you know, it, it's... Um, it's been uh, a big eye opener getting back into work again, and, and really good. You know, because I love the job. The people are really nice, and um, you know, it's, it's going to be a bit more challenging with the Olympics coming out here. The Olympics are here in uh, next week, aren't they? Yeah, next week. Um, as I said before, I live in um, East London, in Essex. Um, I'm literally about what uh, about ten minute, well no, twenty minute train journey away from the uh, site, Olympic site. Uh, Stratford, so I'm not far. So we've got the Olympic torch coming through here on Sunday. Uh, so I'll try and get some pictures and try and take some video of that. Um, but that's going to be cause chaos because all the roads are closed. There's signs up at the moment saying the roads are going to be closed from this day. Um, and they've also installed Olympic lanes here now as well. So on the main sort of motorways or freeways as you call them in the States, they've got um, an Olympic lane, special Olympic lanes for dignitaries. So what was sort of three lane motorways are now two lane motorways. And what were two lane sort of what we call dual carriageways, sort of smaller motorways, uh, are now one lane. They're going to be one lane. So they've advised everyone not to drive. You keep saying, hearing adverts on the radio saying people don't drive because you can't park at the Olympic site or anything like that. But uh, people won't. But you know, you, you're going to get people trying to get dropped. Not so much driving there and parking, but you're going to get people taking taxi cabs there as well. So. It's going to be interesting. I did a drive into London for my job a couple of weeks ago and was stuck on the motorway for a little bit and that's with no Olympic lane on it and no tra no closures in place. It's just standard rush hour congestion. So that's the downside to it. Uh, my girlfriend gets a train every... The train she gets here from a place called Romford where I live, um, the train goes through Stratford. It takes about 20 minutes. She has to go into cent uh, central London. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what she thinks about it because... The, I know a few months back they opened a big shopping centre. I think it's the biggest shopping centre in Europe um, on the Olympic site. Uh, Westfield is a casino in there as well. 
uh, when that opened up, my girlfriend had a lot of trouble getting into work because the trains are so congested. Um, they, think they, they did say they're going to run trains regularly here, but you know, I think it's going to be very much a case that their attitude is it'll be all right on the night. It will be, um, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then if it, if it happens, we'll have to deal with it. But I don't think obviously that's the right attitude to have because, you know, I think they're going to come under a lot of fire uh, as a result of it, the government here. Uh, I know they're going to make a nice profit out of it, but the amount of money it's cost to bring the Olympics here. I mean, I'm excited about it. I know many people ain't. I'm quite excited to see it. But unfortunately, a lot of the Olympic stuff, I'm going to have to watch it you know, in my own country. It's only 20 minutes down the road. I'm going to have to watch it on TV because I've been working the majority of the time that it's on. But... And also, we'll be away in Thailand for two weeks, uh, for the last two weeks of it. But there's no way, of, yeah. I think I couldn't get a ticket for it. Uh, the ticket says the ticket system over here was both expensive and also very flawed. How they they they, how they did the tickets, and they're, they're sort of come back to bottom on the bum there because they're they're still short of a few events, and they, I could get an email saying to buy tickets for this that, and the other. But um, on the plus side, I'm going to the Paralympics in September. Um, I've got tickets for that. Uh, Again, that was done by a ballot and kind of lucky. And I'm quite fortunate. I've got tickets to a couple of day day events. Because um, what they did with the Olympics, they charge you per event. So you'd end up paying 50, 60 quid or anything up to £1,000 to spend two hours watching athletics. And they chuck you out. And then they bring the afternoon people in. And they chuck them out. And they bring the evening people in. Um, for example, the, the day with 100 metres finals on, they had tickets from £20, 12p, go up to £2,012. Uh, just for like, not just a 100 metre final, but for an evening of athletics because there's medals on the line. Um, the tickets I've got, the Paralympics done things a bit differently. They, rather than offer things per event, you could get a day ticket. So basically you can get a day ticket to the Olympic Park and spend all day at the Olympics, uh, which is what I'm doing one day. And I've also got tickets for the closing ceremony, which I'm looking forward to as well, which should be fantastic. So tickets came through uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got, I'm off work that weekend, so it should be cool. I'll do a video and stuff about that nearer the time, hopefully, if I can get video footage of it. Um, so I went a little bit of an Olympic rant then. Uh, yeah, so basically that's where I am. I My weight loss is uh, not happening. Uh, it's not. I haven't gained the weight. I'm still, uh, what am I, 12 cents in the memory? I'm still uh, 24 pounds lighter than I started the year with. Uh, so I haven't gained all the weight back or anything like that, and nor will I. I'm never going to be that. I was 18 stone 12, I'm 17 stone 2 now, so um, I'm not going to. So I think I'm 240 pounds at the moment, 240 pounds. That's what I think I am, yeah. Um, but I was 264 pounds when I started this, so it's come down quite a lot. Um, but it's just a quick, we'll say a quick video. It's not a quick video, it's been a 22 minute video in total. Uh, just to let you know that I'm back, I'm going to be doing regular videos. Um, hopefully the next couple of weeks. Obviously I'll go in Thailand uh middle beginning of August to the middle of August for two weeks. Um I'll try and take some video footage out there because I know apparently Wi Fi is quite prominent in Asia. So hopefully I'll be taking my iPhone. Um hopefully I'll be able to video some stuff and upload it to YouTube straight away. Uh, so you'll be able to see stuff. Um but yeah it should be cool. I might just wait till I come back and do like a compilation of stuff when I come back. I'm notorious for doing filming a lot of stuff on video um, I will take my cam called when we went to Egypt I took four hours worth of stuff um, so obviously I can't put four hours of things on YouTube it'll just be about 25 different videos so I won't bore you with that um, but yeah I'll do another video on my six month goals this is more video to sort of let you know where I've been and the answer to that is just being very working hard exercising not brilliant diet not brilliant um, and just just getting on top of my job at the moment that's been pretty much in a nutshell really um it's not my activity level's not been as good as it was before the marathon so it's something that i'll get back into and hopefully in the next video i'll do that sort of explains for six months or sort of goals will outline that a little bit better um but it's good to see everyone doing well um i'm i'm gonna come i'm gonna come back don't worry i'm not gonna be uh sitting there doing nothing um on my butt and I apologise for the length of this video as well, both of these videos, because I could have condensed them down into one video, I'm sure, but I just like to waffle, as you know that. So um, I'm going to go now before I bore you any, any quicker, but it's nice to see everyone doing really well. And um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll see you guys soon. Um, yeah, take care. Bye.